Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, a feature that Google is now actually implementing on Google Chrome. It's the real-time phishing protection uh, that is now available for everyone. So, of course, uh, over time, you might have noticed that browsers became more and more secure. It's harder today to infect a browser with something than it used to be in the past when just going to a website, clicking a little something, and you had tons of things appearing on your uh, browser, which wasn't cool. Now, um, of course, there's sandboxing, which means that everything is running kind of in its little compartment, that, and it can get out. But there's, of course, phishing protection. And this actually, for a long time, um, simply worked in a one very specific way, is that when you were using Google Chrome, there was a list of known websites that are malicious. So um, you could have a red banner that appeared on the screen that said, or a red screen, and it appeared, and it said the site ahead contains malware. And so what happens is that when you were going to these websites, you were stopped, and you were saying, like, you know, if you want to back off, it's time now because we know this website. Um, it's not, you know, a place you should be. But that requires that every, roughly every 60 minutes, a update to a list of known uh, URLs or known malicious websites was updated on your PC. Now, there's something a little more proactive, but it uh, has a good and a, you know, a negative point that we're going to talk about, of course. So if you go into your settings in the upper right corner, the three vertical dots, you go uh, in the settings of uh, Chrome, you go in privacy and security. One of the things that you will have in the privacy and security in the uh, security tab is the different types of protection. So by default, most people are in standard protection, which does just that. It actually looks the website against the list, and it compares to see if that website is malicious or not. If you turn on enhanced protection now, this actually is almost real time. And what Google says is that there are malicious websites that are online only for a few minutes. Um, typically because they are detected so fast that they are removed as soon as they are detected. But during that 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes that it's there, it might not make the list of known bad websites. But it is still a place you shouldn't go. So by actually enabling the enhanced protection, it will now not only check with the list, it will send that URL to Google to check against its search if it's been reported as a malicious site. So it adds even more protection when you're going on the web about you know websites you shouldn't go to which, which contain ways that you could actually get all sorts of malware. Uh, it also has kind of a prediction, if you want, where it can kind of look at a website and kind of judge that maybe that website is malicious. malicious. And what it will do is actually send a copy of the site. Now, you might notice that there's that negative privacy about it, the fact that it will be sending the URLs, sometimes send the website to Google for verification. And Google does say that for a certain amount of time, any website that is sent will be associated with your Google account. So that means if you, uh, if they verify, they can see that your Google account is linked to that website and that you visited that site. Now, they do say the reason for that is that they want to make sure that your Google account isn't compromised because of the site. So it's up to you. Of course, it means there's more checking of what you do by Google when you enhance protection, but it's more secure. And Google does say that this is not used for ads 
or any other thing than just checking for bad websites, malicious places you shouldn't be, and malware that could be online. So it's up to you to change this if you want. You can stay in the standard protection or use enhanced protection uh, to be even more secure in Google Chrome. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.